my name is Hamid Asli, founder of HR Law Firm. Thank you for watching our legal programs and welcome to High Law TV, the program where we are going to discuss about different law methods, and we are streaming from our firm, Hoi Jurich Spiro, from Stockholm, Sweden. We have designed a program for those people who are in the process of asylum. As you can see in below, the program name is Asylum Seeker. We will follow up the Asylum Seeker in every episode and we will try to give you as much as information about this special process. The information that you will receive in this program is only informatic. The information is based on those experience and problems that we have seen in our daily work as lawyers in Sweden. So you are free to choose if these informations are suitable for you. We wish you all the best. Thank you. program Asylum Seeker. In this episode we will follow the first steps of the Asylum Seeker and the points that I would like to bring up is the importance of seeking legal advising, the meeting with the immigration agency and the right for asylum seekers to choose their own lawyers. In my daily work, I have given many hours of legal advising to my clients. I have been able to make some of my clients to understand that they are not asylum seekers. Some of them went back to their country and asked for other type of immigration cases. And some of them move on to another country but the worst thing for me is when I have a client that says if I knew for many years ago if I knew for many years ago that I will be in this situation I will never ask and I will never start the asylum process What you need to do is to seek for legal advising and you need to choose your own lawyer. You need to explain your case and you need to understand if you qualify for this case or not. For if not, why you want to seek for asylum and why you want to go through this long process and finally to understand if you qualify or not. Let's make something clear here. Even though your lawyer tells you that you are qualifying for this case and you are an asylum seeker, it don't mean that the migration agency will probably or surely give you the residency. That is something else. But at least you know that you have the reasons to seek for asylum. And this is very important according to me. You don't need to wait a long time in order to receive the rejection, the decision in your hand, and then understand. You can do it before. That will help you and your family and your future. To choose your lawyer is very important thing. Why? Either you choose your lawyer or a migration agency will give some lawyer, that lawyer will be registered in your case. If you can't cooperate with this lawyer, it will be very difficult for you to change that lawyer, what we call a public lawyer.
To change a public lawyer in the middle of the asylum process is not an easy thing to do. The normal reasons like the lawyer is not working on my case, he's not answering my calls, I cannot communicate with him, it's not those relevant reasons that the immigration agency or the court of Sweden will consider in order to change that lawyer for you. So you need to be careful when you choose your lawyer. On the other hand, if you have these kind of problems and you can't cooperate with your public lawyer, with the help of the power of attorney, you can hire a private lawyer and that private lawyer can help you with your asylum case. Thank you.